that they could you're finish. Preaching. They couldn't finish Game and Watch or Zelda or NES. They didn't realize that these characters completely just don't work. They're they're broken. They just don't work. But now they do work, thanks to. Uh, are you going to try to get everybody to switch to ST Remix? Is I that, mean, are you going to be the harbinger of the SD Remix movement? I don't think the world would be better or worse if everyone played SD Remix. I just think it'd be different. I think some people would really enjoy it, and I think it's worth checking out. Um, there you have it, folks. Is this SD starting? Remix Jesus. I think this is starting. Yes, this, this is starting. Cool. So we got Watch Falco. Um, that is Falco. Uh, when Bobular is uh, that one character Fox, yeah, um, and of course we got Chic Fox for Jared Sammy, Jar Jazz Drug Fox. Yeah, I think that I mean I think theoretically Chic Chic and Fox are the better team here, just because Falco can be gimped so easily, uh, and I feel like his projectile is much in teams wise, it's much less effective as Chic's needles. You think Falco has lasers? I think Falco's lasers pale in comparison to Sheik's needles no, in doubles. So wrong. In doubles. That's, no, that's so it's wrong. It's not though. That's completely wrong. Falco's lasers. Falco. Are Falco's lasers take so much longer to actually like shoot off, and they don't go as many. How like, often does Sheik stand on the ground shooting needles in teams? In order to save her teammates, you have to use needles. Okay, sure. So in terms, in that way, they're really good. Uh, Falco's lasers can oh, easily oh. get in the way of your teammate. Just that. from a complete doubles theoretical standpoint. Nah, that's so wrong. They're both amazing, but like Falco's are definitely better. Um, and like, yeah. In any case, uh, and I think we're Fox Falco could actually theoretically be a better team than Fox Sheik. However, I think Fox Sheik has a lot more leeway and just like the survivability of Sheik. Um, but like Sheik also has some limitations that I think Falco doesn't suffer from. Or oh, Sammy! Sammy doing his thing, just ripping stocks off of the blue team. Yep. Um. No one does. The like only reason box. I think that Sheik and not the only reason, but I think the main reason that they have the upper hand, Fox Sheik, is she can handle more situations than Falco can. She can put herself out there in positions that Falco can't. What do you mean? In order to be aggressive. Because when Falco no, actually... No, so much better at being aggressive than Sheik. What are you talking about? Are you kidding? You Falco's better Are you being... kidding? No, Falco actually has to, like, risk his entire stock. He, yeah. well, he, he has the choice to not get touched. No, yeah, he, he does. doesn't. <laughs> okay, all right. Anyway, let's get back to the match. Um, yeah, and one of them's his teammate. <laughs> <laughs> Falco's amazing in teams. Falco is... I disagree. I think Falco's horrible in teams. He's so good. <laughs> no, he's so bad. If he's off the stage, he should be dead. Uh, yeah, sure, but he doesn't have to get off the stage. He never has to get off the stage. Like, I'm going to point Ooh. out all the things... All right. Uh... Oh, I like what I liked what Jazz was going for, but yeah, the the laser from that actually stopped him. Falco just has no. So that much was control. that was good. I mean, but if she could have done the same thing quicker. That was cute. Anyway, uh. all right. So that that looked pretty convincing from. <laughs> Jazz and Drug Fox. And Pokemon. I guess I shouldn't be surprised with the spaces on yeah. on the field. So one thing that I think is really cool about Falco is that like a lot of um, a lot of teams like to have this positioning where they where the teams alternate. It might be like in their like horizontal positions. It's like red, then blue, then red, then blue. Uh, like I guess in a line, and um, because this allows like one team to like two v one one character while the other character is like kind of kept out. 
Um, and I think Falco does a really nice job of being on the outside of that. Like, it doesn't matter if he's being kept out, because he can do this really safe, like, laser disruption, even from across the stage. Um, and it sort of nullifies that sort of... It, 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 he almost, like, counters 2v1 strategies a lot of the time. That, like, that common 2v1 uh, setup of where you have two characters 2v1-ing a character in the middle and then the, the fourth character being on the outside. When, Fa when Falco's on... You can't leave Falco alone on the side and he's just going to disrupt whatever you do. And I think that's something that he does really well. Not trying to make the argument that he's better than she can, but I'm saying he's... I mean, you can make the argument all day. Yeah. But I think that's something that... You're, you're right in terms of, like, that strategy of, like, the zones. I think it's something that Georgia doesn't focus on enough. Like, teams in Georgia, myself included. Like, I, I like team, or I'm better at... <laughs> I'm better at teams than I am at singles, but, like... Oh, that dash I, attack. <laughs> I think if I value something, I would have looked it up, so... Something for, I think, myself and a lot of other people who like teams to look up. These zoning tactics you're talking about, that is. I really like that wave dash back from uh, Winbobular. To go Sammy. Wow, wait, that didn't... That didn't pop Falco up, so... Blue team taken this game, looks like. Uh, I think red they team could take it back, but... Uh, like I think they awesome. definitely feel more comfortable. Nice from Thad right there. But uh, Jazz, showing why Fal Fox can pretty much nullify anything in the game. <laughs> Very oh, nice from Winbow uh, there. There goes Strike Fox. Okay, so... Can Jazz yeah, this is it? probably the weakest 2v1 that they could have asked for. Um, yeah. Just because, like... I don't know. I don't think Jazz puts himself in situations that aren't good, and he also gets tilted. Yeah. So those situations plus the tilt are a bad combination. I think that's just the function of him being mediocre because... Oh, shit. What time is it? It's uh, 5.30. I need to go soon. Uh, uh, I will finish this game. Okay. Um... Uh, Will I? Uh, actually, meeting my mom for dinner. <laughs> well, that's pretty important. Yeah. Um, the Google says my house is 20 minutes away. Um, okay, I got a little bit of time, but uh, after this game is over, we should find somebody else to hop on with you. Sounds good. Except that I gotta go play a match. Oh. <laughs> well, this is best uh, best of five, right? So, blue team could win this and extend the set a little bit. Oh man, Thad hitting his own teammate. Not good. I wonder what the relation between Thad and Winbo is, if they know each other, or are they just a rando teaming? Just rando teaming. I saw Winbo commenting about like, oh, I want to enter teams, who can team with me? And then Thad hit him Sammy up. Sammy was like, oh, uh, Jer uh, team with Thad. So they teamed. So he followed Sammy's instructions. Yeah. Look. Sammy told him to do it. Yeah, so that is Sammy's bitch. You mean... That is Sammy's bitch? Yeah, that's what I said. Or, oh, who was asking for a teammate? Wimbo. So and why would Sam... If, if they listen like, to him... Team with Thad. Or Thad team with Wimbo. So what it is is Sammy is Sammy, Thad's pimp. Sam, Sammy yes. pimped Thad out is what to happened. Wimbo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is how this works. Welcome to Georgia Melee. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy is just a pimp of everybody in Georgia Melee. Basically. It's because we what, love him so much. What's up with the salt? Was it fake? So okay. Blue Team's taking this game. Now you get to beat small stage seems to be working Dan. out for them. I don't know why. Um, God, this is so good. Oh my God. Nice up smash. Nice bear. Nice bear. 
How much is happening? They're not really hitting each other. No. Right, now they I, are. In fact, blue oh. team has really put red team on the ropes, man. Oh my god, that. Holy fuck. That was crazy Dang. good. Oh. Oh, but they got Sammy to 2v1. Although Sammy yeah. has a large mountain to climb because he has four stocks to rip through. Yeah. Not that he can't do it, and not that he doesn't melt stocks. This fox is a dead fox right here. I saw that 150. I'm yeah. like, nope. On Yoshi's story. That fox can't live too much longer. Good power shield. Jesus, look at him. He's just keeping so, them in the middle. How does Sammy want to do this? Oh my god, what a big hitbox. Wow. Well, he just so wants... It looks like he's got that. And no, no. He other. wants to zone the team into a place where he feels comfortable manipulating them. And then yeah. opportune... Like, when opportune uh, times come up, take stocks. So, like, yeah. when he took... I think they took a stock off of uh, Thad a minute ago. Uh-oh, this is... Oh, and oh, up, smash, up smash would have ended it nothing. there. Sammy's putting in work. In fact, Winbo might... Mm. Yeah, but now they're both at low percent. This is going to be really hard for them to do. <gasps> Winbo oh, wow. with the call out. Um, okay, I need to head out. All right. Goodbye, stream. Love you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm really sad you couldn't do bracket. We'll get to you next time. Well... Hold on, don't pull, don't pull, don't pull. You're good. Yeah. All right, well, we're salting back. I guess that makes sense. Um, you know, Red Team did pretty well in that last game, and they probably could have taken it. Especially with Sammy 2v1. Uh, without that call out from Winbo, he just had to zone his opponents into the middle and wait for one or two to jump poorly, and then all he had to do was really fare them. Ooh, good call out from Winbo, but he wasn't able to pull through on the punish. Honestly, really, that's what they need to do more. Like, I think Thad, if Thad helps put red team in positions where they can be up smashed easily, and then Winbo just runs in and up smashes, it'd be going a lot better for them. Oh my god! God! But Sammy killed himself in the process. That was pretty dank if he didn't die. This is a bad position for Win Bobular. Uh, oh man, that's oh no, that <gasps> Randall. Damn. All right. Um, Win needs to. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say Winbo needs to take that stuck now before Thad dies. Uh, not that I don't believe in Thad's ability to two v one, but I believe in Winbo's ability a little more. I'm trying to say fucking Falco is better than Sheik and Team. The I, I was talking about Daniel. I think Sheik is way better. I think Sheik handles more situations. And can choose to be the aggressor or support, as opposed to Falco having to be the support, pretty much. Because I mean, if Falco is putting himself out there, as Thad just did right there, he puts himself in a position to be hurt and injured or killed. Whereas if he's staying back, then he can just act opportunely Whenever his aggressor puts the other his opponents in a situation, 
That's how I saw it. But that is a dead Winbo, and that is game. Wait a minute. I thought it was winner's finals. No, no, this is the winner's semis. Wait a minute. No, this is winner's finals. Oh, that's right, because frickin' challenge sucks. I thought it was 2-1 before that, but I, so too. I guess I am incorrect. Because they're sitting, they're still sitting. It looks like 2-2. Well, Winbo's thinking, so they're de it's definitely 2-2. Two -two. I uh, apologize, stream. That was my mistake. Uh, yeah, no, specifically in teams. I wasn't talking about in singles. Like, singles, yeah. s singles Falco and Chica are a toss-up, in my opinion. It's like... Better amount of teammates and like top tier teams and she informed them. I think she, I just but. think she, her movement and and her moves give her the ability to act in different situations like more situations in teams than Falco. That's what I'm saying. He's very passive, yes. At first. Okay. That was really good for Winbo right there. Just sneaking that ramen in. It's something I noticed that Wimbo does specifically, <coughs> and I see Cornell do it uh, as well, which is funny. Um, he doesn't waste movement. He just kind of like, if he doesn't have to move, he's not going to move. Cornell will sit in the middle of the stage and wait to up smash you. It's like Wimbo is sort of similar in that aspect where, oh man, weird from Thad. Right. Yeah, and it adds to the mystery aspect for sure. We're playing after this. They're in game five. Oh no! Did you see that? I don't know why though. I don't know why though. Yeah, with the laser? Yeah. I mean, she could have done it too. I'm not saying she's better. His, his projectile goes farther, I believe. Did I write Winner's Falco? Jesus Christ. Apparently I just don't care about the stream on teams. I do care for Bracket though. Oh man, that gun went flying. Wow, dude, that was... That's what we're doing. That was... Mm. I was about to... <laughs> yeah, it... Man, it's just kind of chaos right now. It feels like 1v1s are being played. Dude. <gasps> that was actually, oh man, but Sammy saved. Yeah, Sammy gave him the like really weak back air. Sammy's a little good at this game. <laughs> oh man, that was, it was a wacky combo right there that led to some really weird DI. Oh man, can Jazz do this? Well, Jazz has... Oh, yeah. 
Hey, come on, it's Fox, though. If anybody can do it, the Fox can. Well, I think that's that's one of the problems, though. Jared's thing is uber aggression, so... It's hard to be uber aggressive in two reons. That's true. Ah, uh, and that's it.